sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Shake your body. Wake your fuck ass up. That cross starts out. Do we need more law, less freedom? Do we cross out parts of the Constitution? I've learned that's not the answer. The answer is that each one of us is responsible to everyone else. Not one of us can afford to turn a blind eye. <sighs> Thespian mastery right there. Bars, Thespian mastery. I like that. There are some Break people who act okay. like actors. And then there's some people who become characters. Mm -hmm. And you know, Heather, I, I grew up watching a lot of movies in my life. Yeah. I'm, I'm a movie buff. I'm a TV guy. Yeah. We had Gary Marshall up here. He was surprised at how much we knew about his history, right? Yeah. Uh, we had Rob Reiner up here. He didn't know we knew about Meathead and all of that stuff. Melissa Gilbert <laughs> touched your face. Melissa Gilbert touched my face. She loved it. From Little House in the Prairie. Mm -hmm. Laura uh, Ingalls. Laura Ingalls came and touched my face. And I came. <laughs> After she touched my face. No. Cut. <laughs> Damn it, Callaway. I you. got close. That was the the, 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 yeah. the There is a line, though, isn't there? Yeah. Yeah. No, no, he no, likes no. to cross it. He likes to yeah. cross it? That's That's nice. him, man. Because I'm kind of new here at this. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You're not new. Orientation. You're not new. <laughs> Sam, you're not new. I was just looking over Golden Globe. No, it's true. I'm not new. You're not new. Golden nah. uh, 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 Screen Actor Guild Awards, mm. Emmy Awards, BAFTA Awards. Man, this guy has done it all. He's done many, it all. Many, many years of life. Many years of life. Actor, producer, director. The one and only Sam Waterston is here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, listen Sam. to the applause. Oh, man. Dude, I, I watched Law & Order. Man, Law, I still watch Law & Order. Good for you. Yes, I still watch it. And I, you guys, that, 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 that was a great run for you. What was nearly 20 years, right? Was, the show ran 20 years. Yeah. yeah. I was on it for 16. 16 of it. Wow. Just 16, that's all. That's it. 16 <laughs> years of really a, nothing. A guarantee. Right. But you'll, you'll, Think how much changed in your life is. What, what changed in your personal life in the 16 years of your professional life? Well, all of my kids went to college without incurring any debts. Okay. Wow. Okay. How many so kids? Four. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, for without thank you, law and order. Without law and order. I thought he was gonna say thank you, Lord. That's like the new thing. <laughs> well, thank you, law and order. Thank you, law and order. Like, right, well, that's what's up. <laughs> well, both. Really. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's say both. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's listen. If for no, I got a kid that's going to college now. So you know what I'm talking well, about. Well, no, because she starts next semester. Exactly. Yeah. So, um, and that's the big thing: debt-free school, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, I, I mistakenly said Waterston. What was the, what was wrong about that? Uh, I didn't. I don't feel like I put enough oomph on it. <laughs> I'm a big fan of yours, so uh, I wanted to make sure I put enough oomph on it. Thank um, you. Well, that was a great run, man. Um, Seems good. Yeah, and then and then you really consume that role. But today you're you're here to talk about Grace and Frankie. Yes, indeed. Okay, and, and tell tell us about Grace and Frankie. Grace, well, this is what do you not know about it? Uh, you well, know, know that Lily know. Tomlin, and Lily Jane Tomlin. Fonda, and Martin Sheen and I are uh, are all in it together. Yes, you and, know and, that. You know how I know because. Uh, and they they play they they, they play room they, they have to live together now right that right Lily and Jane and, and do Jane, yeah. they didn't start out friends yeah although the characters didn't start out friends but Lily and Jane have been friends for a long long time they were walking around Sirius XM the other day and I was kind of just kind of I, I didn't even feel appropriate to say hi to them you, you know? didn't even say hi nah Lily Tomlin they would have said hi there. back she was there Lily they, Tomlin was yeah there. yeah wow. they I probably they would have but I they would have. Yeah, what is I, it like working with them? Like they're beautiful people, both of them. Yeah, uh, you, you, it's hard to distinguish about you know there's the the professionalism that yeah. they bring, the talent that they bring, their uh -huh. goodwill that they bring, their generosity. They they're they share all that stuff. Yeah, um, but they're very different human beings too, uh -huh. and just beautiful people. Beautiful people, and 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 of course I. You know, I haven't done comedy in a long time, so this was a this was a reentry kind of thing uh -huh. for me. And the secret of it is that everybody has to be having a good time. Yeah. Or at least that seems to be uh -huh. the secret on this show. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And they and they set the they set the tone. They set the tone. We shot a we shot a, a 
an episode at the the last episode of the, of season two, the one that's on the air now. Yeah, it's on Netflix too, by the way. Yeah, uh. and there was a scene in which all of us, the kids and everybody, June and Ethan and and Baron and you know all, everybody was there. Yeah, um, and and Brooklyn and. The two dames. Uh huh. The two dames. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and and uh, I mean, it was hard to get through. Yeah. Everybody was laughing so hard. It yeah. was hard to get through. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, so that the crew was kind of like, oh God, are we ever going to go home? Wow. <laughs> but the cast was having a, a, a wonderful mess. time. See, I would be in awe of that. That's the moment that I kind of would sit back and take that moment in because when you see such established actors come together, and they, you guys to me are beyond just acting, you know, yeah. um, to me. you know, and, and see people who have been so successful as Jane, yourself, and Lily come together like that. I would just kind of soak up the information and just see what you got, how you interacted with each other because and, and, you guys have performed on such high levels. When you got all that in one room, there's something intangible that's being created. I think what uh, I think what everybody has in common is everybody's willing to take a flying leap without knowing whether there's any water in the pool, and uh, and then it's kind of up to the the grown-ups in the room to put it all together. Put it all together, right? But making mistakes, fouling it up, um, daring to try stuff—that's mm-hmm. what. That, that's what makes it work. Yeah. What make, I want to ask about uh, Daring to Try Stuff because uh, we had Jeffrey Tambor on here who stars in Transparent. And I feel like in this day and age, these kind of shows are pretty much accepted as, you know, whatever. They're not risque or taboo. You know what I'm saying? Like people are used to it. And I feel like 20, 30 years ago, maybe networks wouldn't have been so accepting of these storylines. Well, know, and the I mean? kind of networks that are running these shows didn't exist. Right. That's what I mean. So, um, you know, like when Will Smith did Six Degrees of Separation, people were so shocked because he played a homosexual in that yeah, movie. Yeah. Um, but do you think maybe 20, 30 years ago that, you know, whether it was you or Martin Sheen would have been as comfortable as doing it then as you are now? I think maybe we would have been, but it would have been, uh, we would have been breaking new ground, which is what you're talking about. Yeah. Will Smith was breaking new ground. Uh, and we're not doing that except <laughs> except that we're telling the story of two old geezer gay mm-hmm. people. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> geezer and, gay. And, and geezer gays. I yeah, like the geezer. The new group. The, yeah, the, the geezer gays. The geezer gays. Uh, L- LGBT G- Q. G-G. 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 All right, I get it. So, so that's, and that, that kind of story has not been told. And actually, I think it's one of the great things about the show in general is that it's talking, well, it's talking about baby boomers that aren't babies anymore at all, and they're looking at all kinds of things that are terribly serious and life-threatening and life-ending and yeah. separation and loneliness and all kinds of awful stuff, uh, and laughing in its face. Laughing in its face. Yeah. Wow. We're going to come back with the geezer gay. Um, <laughs> 888-742-3345. If you want to talk with Sam... <laughs> Give us a call, man. She sent me six text messages since we hung up, and they all say, Kenny, log it. Here's what you do. You go to the garage, you dig it out, you say you got it back from him, and he sends his best. I don't know. Oh, just tell her. Kenny Loggins is giving her painting back because <laughs> everybody's got a foot loose. Wow, man, that's a clip from Grace and Frankie. We have Sam Waterston is here with us. A lot of people know you as Jack McCoy from Law & Order, but you've done so much other work, and this is different. Uh, it's different. Yeah, this is season two. He plays a gay geezer. Uh, <laughs> a geezer gay. Geezer gay? Okay. Yeah. Whole new term right there. I don't know if it's PC or not. I just it say is. It. Hey, good. It, it's, it's, it's friendly. It's, it's friendly? Yeah, it's friendly. A geezer yeah. gay? Yeah. Especially okay. if you say it about yourself. That's, yeah. Yeah. This is, this yeah. Is and then delicious. Jane Fonda's in it. Uh, Lily Tomlin is in it as well. Juggernauts in the game. Legends. That's, yep. like, that's like being in concert with Diana Ross. Yes. Right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, but, uh, and this is the second. So how you like these alternative platforms like Netflix and having the ability to do these type of projects? Kind of to the extension of what he was saying, but how do you, how do you like them? Uh, there's so much more freedom now. There's, mm-hmm. there's so many s- subjects you can touch. 
there's uh, you can go after niche audiences. Yeah. Did I say this already? But I mean, the striking thing about uh, this show is that it's kind of aimed at the baby boomer generation, yeah. which has now grown old. Yeah. But it's reaching all kinds of other people. Yeah. Can Can I ask, like, just on a personal side, of different you, ages? And yeah. Stuff. Yeah. If how do you then you've been doing the same thing for so long, you know, and sometimes you just get tired of your job. Like the average person will get. I don't get, get tired of this yeah, job. How I do never you, have been tired of this. How do job. you get? How do you find the energy like to just keep having fun and loving what you're doing? Well, so, so I, I, money. <laughs> oh, you're paying okay. Sam a lot of money, man. Oh. Sam Waterston, <laughs> that's some motivation. I'm well, you know, I I did <laughs> I did Prospero in the Tempest in the Park last summer. That was. I that recommend was that yeah. everybody go to. Everybody who hasn't been should go and see one play in the park, and if they don't go mm -hmm. see another one, I'll give them their money back, mm -hmm. which, of course, they won't get anything because it's free. It's mm -hmm. free. Good point. <laughs> but, uh, I love Sam. I, do. I love Sam. just have a fun spirit. <laughs> yeah, but it's it's a delightful thing to do. Yeah. They, yeah. they also don't, because they don't charge any money f for the tickets, they also don't pay the actors very much mm, money, but yeah. it doesn't matter. It doesn't I'm matter. I'm not doing this f exclusively for the money. <laughs> <Right>. Exclusively. <laughs> so it just know. keeps you inspired, yeah. though. Doing stuff like that just keeps you... Right. I mean, being able to uh, be on television and in the movies and, and on the stage, mm -hmm. it's like a dream come true. Right. Yeah. You, but you it probably, is a dream come true. Yeah. But you can probably stay with this one career field because it's not like you're going into the same office every day. It's like yeah, exactly. a hundred lives within one well, span of time. Well, I mean, time. you guys talk to different people yeah. all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. None of you look tired or bored. Anybody tired? Uh, We're great actors, lot, right? too. Yeah. Yeah. We good, too. We're great We're actors. Too, <laughs> 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 Let me switch it up. Let me switch it up. <laughs> okay, going back to what you said was so essential to your greatness, which is just embracing being fearless. But I'm wondering, what about... Oh, I'm, I'm a... Don't get me wrong. I'm mm. a fraidy cat. You are? Oh, yeah. Because I was going to say, when, you, when you, um, you had that analogy about jumping into the pool and not knowing whether there's going to be water or not, yeah. did you have an experience where there is no water? Oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about it. Oh, sure. Well, all the time. You, you leap into a scene. Uh, everything's going fine. Suddenly, your mind goes blank, and what comes next is not there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Boom. No that's, water. That's no that's water. Real. <laughs> that's real. Uh, yeah. That kind of stuff happens all the time. Yeah. Yeah, but that's fun when you recover, though. Uh, the recovery when you when you tested your skills and you all out and you don't know where it's gonna come from. Well, and the you... recovery is take two. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you get to try it again. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sam Waterston is here. Uh, season two of Grace and Frankie is available now on Netflix. Sam, this is your first time on our show, uh, Sway in the Morning. Before we could give you your citizenship, you gotta stick your hand in my sack. <laughs> Go ahead and reach in. Dig deep, dig deep. <laughs> Put your hands into Sway's sack. That sounds gross. <laughs> it's Sway's mystery sack on Shade 45. The, the, the doctors got excited okay. when I said that. Yeah. <laughs> Sam, I'm going to break it down. You got to pick three questions out of the sack, one at a time. Read it out loud, and you have to answer them honestly. Jump in if that you pool. woke up tomorrow and all you had was $100 to your name, what would you do with it? I'd try to use it to get another hundred dollars, and after that, I'd try to get another. Well, you play poker. I I, I would learn. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, he'll turn that money over. Okay. Yeah, I like that. Businessman. Well, I mean, the alternative would be to have one really nice lunch. Yeah. <laughs> At Del Frisco's. <laughs> I think the greatest. <laughs> Tell us a memorable moment that wasn't caught on camera during your Law and Order days. A memorable moment. That's the trouble. That's the hard part. Because what do I remember? <laughs> uh, that was back in 2010, I guess it, right? I guess I nothing. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's on camera. <laughs> Last one. Oh, man. Okay. Wow. Let's see. Oh, this is upside down. Ever had an embarrassing encounter with another celebrity? 
<laughs> what do you have in mind? <laughs> sure, I mean, I'm a I'm as big a fan as anybody else. I'm every time I meet a another celebrity, another celebrity. I mean, <laughs> it's like, uh, yeah, I mean. Meryl Streep said that the best thing that could possibly happen to you in life is to be some in in the in show business is to be semi-famous. So, so I, I don't really consider my and I think I've kind of gotten away with that. Wow. So I don't really consider myself a celebrity. So I don't think this really you, you know can. applies to me. Okay. But every time I meet a celebrity, I'm embarrassed. <laughs> Why? Uh, well, because the, what am I supposed to say? They're so famous, you know. Who was the stuff. last person, the last famous celebrity that you met? <laughs> that I met? Yeah. Lily Tomlin. Lily Tomlin. <laughs> yeah. Man. True. I like that, man. I was like I, That's great. Well, huh? It was hard to be embarrassed. You couldn't be very embarrassed for very long because she's so damn. We were, we were saying this. Just standing there, she's funny. She's yeah. She just, makes you smile. You just stand there looking at her. It yeah. makes you smile. You so I tried to be embarrassed, but it didn't work. It didn't work. <laughs> Sam Waterston, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> um, man. Grace and Frankie, available on Netflix. Make sure you support it and watch it. And Sam, you earned it. You are officially a citizen. A sway in the morning. Hey. Right. hey, man, you made that, brother. You made that, man. Uh, thank you for coming by, man. And I uh, really appreciate you. Later on in the show, Wale is going to stop by and see us. Up next, man, we got the legendary Money B from the group Digital Underground out of the Bay. And he brought somebody with him, an up-and-coming star named Lil Mikey. Uh, so Money B from Digital Underground is up next. 888-742-3345. Give us a call. It's Sway in the Morning. Only on Shade 45.